Hey folks, PC is 7 here. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time, thanks for dropping by. We are here in American Truck Simulator. Yes, indeed, and there is my handsome little Peterbilt truck. We, uh, well, get a little wear and tear on the rig. I have taken her for one drive. We, uh, left our hometown of San Diego and currently are... Ah, no idea. <laughs> where I am. Let's uh, maybe look at the map and that will give us a clue. Um, are you going to give me a clue, man? Oh, I guess we're right here. We're in Oakland. All right, so we're currently... No, that's Oakland. What is this? Well, I guess just outside of Oakland. Although we seem to be even Steven between the two, don't we? Hmm, interesting. Anyway, let's... Uh, yeah, I think so. So, let's have a look at our job market for the day. I said I took one run just to sort of get a feel for the truck. I didn't uh, want to look too freaky. So, let's see what they've got today. And we kind of want to start... Uh, So we're almost equidistant, aren't we? Well, let's see what they've got coming out of Oakland. We can go from Oakland to Eli. Eh, Oakland to Elko. Or Oakland to Elko. Hmm. What if we're to come out of San Francisco? Ooh, way more jobs. A couple of more dollars involved as well. Hmm. Construction houses. Really? Where is that going? San Francisco to Elko. Carson City, huh? We haven't been to Carson City, actually. Oof, that's a heavy load. Tonopah. No, well, we've been there. Los Angeles. We've definitely been to Los Angeles. Now, this doesn't quite go to Los Angeles, but interesting. Barstow. Hmm. Anything going to Barstow? No, Bakersfield. We've been there, haven't we? Huron, Fresno. That's actually Bakersfield. So nothing to there, huh? What about out of Oakland? Do we get anything? No, just the three jobs available out of Oakland. Hmm, well... Just seems like an awful long way to go for that. Don't you think? Lumber, huh? 1909 a mile. Large tubes. Man, that looks like a nasty load, though. But, I guess we're going to do her. So let's set that as our GPS destination. I didn't happen to notice, so oh, brilliant. 9.13 p.m. Indeed. So, let's uh, grab our handy-dandy controller. Light up the truck. What do we got here? All right, we're going to need uh, a few things. Whoa. Here we go. Not sure what possessed me to drive into the back of there and park, but, uh, well, you know. I don't suppose you guys have got a job, have you? No? Press the following to play with job offers. They have. Ah, okay. Yeah. Huh. We can take this guy. It's actually more money to El Centro. We haven't been there. We're going to take that. <laughs> Your trailer is ready. Uh, oh, of course it's the other one. <laughs> of course it is. Hmm. 
but of course it is. coming in that's a nasty nasty loop out there on the road really is how's this side look yeah it looks clear <laughs> famous last words all right we should be clear of all the internal obstacles let's get on the road do hope everyone's doing well still enjoying the series and thanks to those of you that are supporting it it is appreciated. Alright. Just creep up. That's nah, not going to happen, is it? Yeah. <laughs> We're a lot of traffic out here. Ooh, we're still creeping up here. <laughs> journey. So I was watching Netflix last night. I watched a fairly good movie. Those of you that have seen it, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below. It's called The Book of Eli. Not too bad. I think uh, good performance by uh, Denzel Washington, that's for sure. Whoops. Sheesh. I don't know what's going on with the sensitivity on my stick there. At all. That was just kind of weird. Had the major, major, major tank slapper going on there. Or maybe it's just these freaky looking trees make me nervous. <laughs> I don't know. I do remember though, the first time I ever saw a real live palm tree. And it was here in California, of course. Yeah. And, uh, I think, well, it was obvious. It was the first time we'd ever pulled into California. And uh, it would have been San Diego. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't uh, pull into Frisco until the second time. But yeah, first time in San Diego. And uh, no duty to serve, thankfully. Seems to work out that way a fair bit, actually, on those particular trips. And uh, yeah, sorry, dude, my trailer takes up a lot of room in certain circumstances. What can I tell you? Um, so yeah, we pulled into San Diego, and I believe it was uh, evening, just getting on towards dark. So there wasn't a lot to see, and I remember taking a wander down the street, um, into the city itself, basically. I got a look at that, and I don't remember where I stayed that night, but I remember getting up the next morning and deciding that, since I had a whole day ahead of me, since it was the first time I'd ever actually experienced a beautiful day in sunny Southern California, I would uh, take advantage of it and go for a walk. And I went for a walk and I managed to find my way down. Not hard, I mean, I am from BC. I can find my way to an ocean pretty quick. Uh, by smell alone, by the way. The, uh... So I started heading towards what I figured was the ocean and uh, block up from the ocean parallel, like a road that was a block from the ocean, but parallel. And the first time I ever saw pond trees, and they were just like that. There was a big line of them, obviously a, a cultivated type of, you know, we planted these here to make the property look good sort of thing. But, uh, yeah, there they were. And I was quite impressed. I mean, I did the, uh, <laughs> I did the Turisto thing. I went up and I touched them. You know, I mean, <laughs> What can you say? We're human. We do rely on tactile a fair bit. So yeah, I went up and uh, 
checked out what they felt like. You know, I mean, they certainly don't feel like a tree. I still don't to this day actually believe they're a tree. I think they're just like a big plant of some kind. But anyway, um, we did check all of that out. And, oh, what do we got going on here? This is like all of a sudden all the lines are gone. Okay. Uh, all right, we seem to have managed to stay in our lane if there was such a thing. What the heck kind of a bloody road was that? And yeah, I was, uh, I was quite impressed with these, uh, these palm trees. I kept looking for coconuts. <laughs> I kid you not, yeah, I, I didn't actually see any. I, I don't know if that's just the way it is. I think they're probably, uh, maybe they're a completely different species of, uh, of plant, actually, <laughs> from the palm trees I was looking at. Who can say? I, uh, but yeah, I was quite impressed. And they were big. They were big like that, where they're, you know, it was all you could do, basically, to uh, wrap your arms around them. Now, later trips into Mexico and such, I ran into uh, all kinds of different uh, versions of the same animal, you might say, but much smaller ones, and also, uh, I might say, ones that had coconuts. So, yeah, they, uh, they do exist. <laughs> all right in toward Carlsbad and onto the I-5, huh? I can live with that. Hopefully she's not too busy this time of night. It is midnight. And let's let them know we're coming. Blink, a blink, a blink, a blink, a blink, a blink, a blink. A... Yeah, nobody there. Good enough. Stop the blink, a blink, a blink. -a. How are we doing? 364 miles worth of fuel. And 400 something miles to go. So I'm thinking we're going to want to be hitting fuel here on our way in. Otherwise, we're going to end up spending most of our profit on a tow truck. Something I haven't had to do yet. And uh, certainly don't plan. Oh, well, the speed limit. Damn. Really don't plan on doing this uh, this early into the game. Of course, racking up speeding tickets isn't something I plan on doing either. But it may turn out that way. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. Twelve hours out, eh? Wow. So we're gonna get in, uh, get in around noon, one o'clock. Nice. find ourselves some fuel here. I mean, I realize I got 300 miles to worry about it, but it's one of those things. I'd rather find a fuel station in uh, the next couple of miles and not worry about it for the next 300 miles. Oh. It would appear... Uh... Nah. There's no sort of loop there that looks like you'd end up having to uh, either figure out a way to turn around at the gas station or, oh, I see, we would have followed it way, way, way. <laughs> yeah, you can see it's going to actually join back up to the highway here eventually. Or it's another highway that's going to run parallel one or the other. Oh, maybe that is the case. So yeah, I think we would have ended up on a much slower road if we'd have gone there. Which can, I suppose that's one of the risks you uh, have to balance in this sort of a thing, isn't it? Oh, uh, have I been to Huron? We might have got to discover a new town. Fresno. Hmm. Oh, how are we doing here? 280 something as compared to 400 and double digit something. Hmm. Alrighty. Come on, man. Take a take a lesson from the Euro guys and throw a few fuel pumps at the side of the road here. It would help me immeasurably. I mean we're making decent time and all, but Ah, here we go. A scale, a fuel pump. 
everything. And they're probably going to want us to scale anyways. Wait for it. Wait for it. No? Well, we're going in there. Whether they want us to or not, we are going in there. Because I buy guppies need the fuel. There we go. Coming in a little hot. <laughs> They're all like, run for your lives. Alright. Ch -ch ching Your employer will pay for the fuel. No, not this time, fella. <laughs> eh, there's a hundred buck. Yeah, there's two hundred buck. Yeah, man, there's three hundred buck. Ooh, doggy is four hundred buck. Four hundred and fifteen dollars. Well, come on, where's the sign saying somebody else is going to pay for it? Come on, that was my favorite part of fueling up. Alright, we're on the road now. But we can uh, actually expect... Ooh, this part's clear. To get the rest of the way without any worries, which is what I wanted. Because we're now sitting at uh, 950 miles of good stuff. Yeah, we got room, buddy. You see us, you got lots of time to pull over. Thank you. Uh, 950 miles worth of fuel, and we only need to make just under 400, well, three and a quarter, shall we say. So, let's get up to speed here. Hope they don't... Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I couldn't even get a chance to say it. Hope they don't make a stop at this scale now that we're finally back on the road and ready to go. But, um, well, fair enough. Fair enough. This is a part of trucking in America. So, stop at the scale ahead. And, thank you. Well, you're very welcome. Thanks for your cooperation. Have a safe journey. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, uh, <laughs> never claim to be able to do accents. Bum, 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 bum. Well, actually, I do a pretty good East Indian accent, but that's another story. Alright. Okay, I think we're actually, uh, on the road serious this time. Shouldn't be much more in the way of interruptions. More than enough fuel. We are... Oh, I forgot to say... I will uh, set the fatigue thing, guys, I promise. I, I keep forgetting. Maybe uh, somebody remind me in the comments or something. Hey, set the fatigue. Nobody can drive 24-7, dude. You're not as young as you used to be. Whatever. Oh, we're over the speed limit by a whole chump. This truck really goes, man. I'm surprised. Well, I mean, just, you know, because there are still... Uh, much bigger engine packages than what we're running. I do believe. This is kind of the horsepower we're running on the trucks on the farm, isn't it? I think we're in the 400 range on this guy. Huh? Nice truck, though. Kind of missed some of the paint jobs I had in Euro truck, because I had, well, anything applicable. I wasn't going out and buying the East German and the Czech paint jobs and all that stuff because, I mean, I did have the Canadian ones and uh, all of those. So. And I take it what I have now is likely the uh, steampunk one for the... Uh, what the heck was it? Something to do with uh, Truck World. Or I didn't pre-order the game, but I did buy it on release, that's for sure. Maybe you just had to follow it or something. I think that could have been it. You just had to put it on your follow list. But yeah, it was a free skin, thanks to SCS. And it's a lot cheap, uh, quicker than uh, trying to pick a color. Because then you guys would all be sitting here looking at my perfect purple pickup. <laughs> Except it would be a semi-truck. Uh, yeah. Maybe a nice metallic purple would be really cool. But we'll see. This will not be our first or last truck. This will eventually wander into the hands of an employee, more than likely, once we've actually unlocked a couple of trucks places. And I imagine that'll happen. 
once we uh, run empty a couple of times just to have a look around in some of these places. I mean, I don't think I'll start with, like, Los Angeles. Because knowing me, well, that would be a game ender. <laughs> and good thing they want us to just slide right through. I'm sure there's a truck dealer in Los Angeles, but uh, I'm not sure I want to go looking for him. Not when there's probably whoa, way better places. Yeah, I didn't trust that you were going to completely stop, dude. In fact, I'm still pretty sure you weren't going to. Although, I see, we are uh, about to change things up a little bit here. We're going to follow this fellow. Top of the hill. Ooh, we just caught her. For some reason, they want us to stop here, so we will. <laughs> we get that trailer over. We did. Nice. Uh, no, we're in a 55 zone. I was sure we'd be in a 30 zone now. Oh, there we are. <laughs> What's that? Oh, just a place to pick up a load. Not the place we're looking for, though. These are not the droids you seek. Now, is that big W? Is that uh, a truck dealership? Oh, lots of places to buy fuel here, aren't there? If so, are we going to unlock it? That's the real question. Hmm. The sun's just coming up. Oh no, that's not. Uh, that's a Walmart, and not, or a Walbert. Sorry, that's a Walbert. The big W. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. It would, uh, of course, be a question mark as opposed to uh, something like that that we would be looking for. Well, this 30 zone for a thousand or two miles is not exactly uh, conducive to getting the job done, is it? Hey, you think I can take a hydrant out? <laughs> oh, of course you can. All right. Oh, you scared the peanuts off me, dude. And, oh, it's a yellow light. Suck it up, people. All right. That was a successful foray into some odd little town. All righty. 6.30 in the a.m., a little too early to turn off the headlights. Looks like it's going to be a, another bright, sunny day in Southern California. Whoa, 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 dude. Good peanuts. What the hell? You gonna park in my passenger seat, were you? My. I don't know what you was thinking. Hey, why are you people all snapping on your brakes like it was important? Hmm? Hmm? Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm gonna slow down just a little bit here. Do, 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 do. Or not. One. I'll take 50. There we go. Slap on the Cruzo Controllo. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't remember palms on the highway. I remember, uh, whoa, what the heck are they called? Yeah, Cletus. Yeah, that's it. Like in the Eagle song. I remember those, just rows and rows of them down these uh, dusky looking center lines or medians. 
but uh, don't recall palm trees being in the middle of the uh, medians like that. Although, admittedly, I didn't spend a lot of time out on the highways other than, you know, quick little jaunts from, like, San Diego to maybe San Francisco a couple of times. Because, after all, nice thing is you have a little rental car and uh, all your concerns fly out the window, right? <laughs> Especially when you're basically from a foreign country. Yeah. It's like, yeah, sure, so you issue me a ticket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not, not to imply in any way that I ever uh, broke a single law while south of the border in the fine, fine country of the United States, but, you know, one man's laws or another man's hobbies or however the heck that goes. No. <laughs> All right, I might have made that up. I'll admit it. I might. doing four hours out why are y'all slowing down what am I doing wrong oh I see you're turning okay oh boy so I know the speed limits in Nevada are much quicker than they are here in California but uh, Arizona is next up on the list I think it's the next promised free DLC and it should be with us soon I think um, I wonder what the speeds are there now, I have driven in Arizona. Uh, the year I decided I was going to drive to Mazatlan from here in sunny British Columbia, I originally went all the way down, planning on taking the Tijuana crossing because I wanted to show my wife at the time, Tijuana, having been there a couple of times on my own. And uh, we got there and the highway was all torn up. So, we uh, came back across the line after having the dogs in the truck and the, you know, you're either a, an arms dealer or a druggie or you wouldn't be going to Mexico. What are you doing here? And uh, so we drove back across the border because I did not want to start my journey of the, pretty much the length of Mexico um, on a dirt road with chunks of concrete that were raised a foot off of this dirt road every few miles and oh my god so uh, yeah we turned around and uh, went back up through the uh, the Tijuana border and drove across to Arizona and we were going to go down through Nogales and, oh my god you know it might be a really nice place I don't really know I really really don't know but it's the hottest damn place I've ever been in my life. And it made me appreciate one thing more than anything else. I'm not a fan of really hot places. Oh my gosh. Pulled into Tucson, Arizona. It was maybe 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And I kid you not. Now, all the way from BC to there, we had uh, stayed in our camper van that sort of thing you know spent the night did whatever it took to do that well we got there I actually rented a hotel room <laughs> I kid you not well motel room I should say there there is a difference uh, but I did I actually rented a motel room and uh, just so we could lay down for a couple of hours with the air conditioning cranked <laughs> yeah I've never been anywhere so hot in my entire life. And I mean, we were still heading south, and it cooled off, thankfully, the further south we got, because we were then at that time, of course, on the water. And uh, man, water's a great equalizer when it comes to temperatures. It doesn't get so cold in the winter, it doesn't get so hot in the summer, it's beautiful. But yeah, just amazing. I couldn't believe it. People actually live there. You'd look and there'd be, it would look like this, except minus any of those trees or palms. And three miles in the distance across this flat dirt plain that you're looking at would be a little shack with a couple of vehicles parked in front of it. And you think, who and why would you live there? You know, I mean, seriously. 
there, there, there's no town around for 50 miles. So what the heck do you do for a living? <laughs> you know, and no sign of a hydro pole going down to most of these. So they're either self-powered or unpowered. But I, I just couldn't imagine, man, living in a tin shack when it's 140 freaking degrees outside. You're round. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's enough Arizona. That's that's coming. That's the uh, SCS has told us that'll be the next free DLC. Not exactly sure when, but it shouldn't be too long. And I'm looking forward to it. We're, uh, like I said, I've already done about half of the roads in the entire uh, game so far. And we've only completed, I think, 16 missions, 15 missions. So, hmm. There are, I realize, mods that uh, will allow you to go considerably farther. There's a mod that'll allow you to drive to Boston with a couple of stops on the way. But uh, that's pretty much what it is, one highway between uh, California and Boston. What the heck kind of place is this? Uh, ooh, uh, I think I want this lane. Yeah. Okay, that's just weird. Was somebody really confused? Was it their first day on the job? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it just didn't seem right. It was like, okay, we'll do this, and oh, but then we'll have to do that. And, oh, let's throw a lane in over here. That'll fix that. But oh, yeah. Wow, man. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well, I see the wee flag in the distance that tells us we are getting very, very close to our destination. In fact, I want back in this other one. El Centro, really? I've been to a place called El Centro, but uh, it was um, north of this particular border. Or, I'm sorry, actually, south of this particular border. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Oh, and I needed to turn there. Dang. Oh, bad, bad, man. Oh, no. Ay, 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 ay. Is there a place I can cheat? I really don't want to be here. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is only getting worse. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is not good. Not good. Come on. What do we got here? No. Ah. Excellent. And there is, in fact, our GPS has figured out a way to save the day. here. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Welcome to El Centro. Yeah, no, it's uh, the place in Mexico, El Centro. I suppose that just simply means the center, so I guess there's probably an El Centro everywhere. One time we all thought we were El Centro of the Universe. <laughs> uh, some people still do believe that, I think. Okay, well. What? Oh, loan installment. Okay. <laughs> um, what? What's the ching ching thing going off, man? But that's right, yeah, we're 50 grand in debt. Well, not anymore, I guess. Now we're. Uh, well, now we're probably closer to 50 grand in debt, because Lord knows the interest is not exactly uh, the small part of what you pay on these sort of things. 
So a couple of Johnny Deers. Nice, nice. And Oh, come on, maybe you can do it. Hey, buddy. You really thought that was a good place to park that Johnny, did you? Alrighty then. Nice looking tractor, man. Very nice looking tractor. 2517, isn't it? Hmm. Cool. Alright, we're here. <coughs> and good, 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 and good. All right, no damages, no extra yickiness. Perfect. Now we get another 10K in the bank. Well, a little less, of course, because we did end up having to make a loan payment. But we are sitting at 62K. And if we look at the bank, we've made one of 42 payments. So cool. See, I was hoping you'd be able to do like you can in um, Farm Sim, where we could go, well... I'm feeling flush today. Here's 5k or 10k or whatever. Um, but I think it's kind of a. So we've got 48,000. That would only give us about 14k, hey? All right. Well, I'm going to repay our loan. There we go. We now owe nothing. Thank you. Catching. And. We're sitting on $13,300. We have our own truck. We do have 3% damage, unfortunately. But, uh, well, what we're going to do is... Uh, Let me get back out that way. Sure I can. I'm going to go find myself a garage and... Uh, Maybe a truck dealer or two. We'll see how that goes. Although this isn't really much of a town, is it? Yeah. Hmm. Let's, uh... Let's have a look at our world map for a moment. Alright. We're here. There's actual El Centro. Alright. Well, let's, uh... Let's go check El Centro. So if we go out here, we just simply want to be hanging to our left as much as possible. And we'll have a quick look, see if there's a, at least a garage in El Centro that we can get fixed up. Eh? Road looks good. Yes, it does. Okay. Whew, this sucker is sprightly off the line when she's empty. Hopefully there actually is something in El Centro. Other than that one trucking stop. Not seeing much in the way of uh, goodies. Oh man. Really? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Not only that, but it looks like El Centro is basically uh, non-existent as far as any sort of amenities. Hmm. So what I'm going to do is uh, head across. Yeah, we can't go the other way. El Centro doesn't actually exist. It's not the portion of it we might want to be at. Whoa, way too easy to get over the speed limit, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Ooh. 
Holy. Or maybe not. Glad I left a tape running. <laughs> oh man. Well, it doesn't look like. Uh, oh, we can't go in that way. Doesn't look like it, guys. Hmm. No, no garage. Nothing like that. There's a rest area, but that doesn't heal your truck. So. I'm going to fuel up, and uh, next time around... Oh, really? We have to be that way, I guess, because the side our uh, fuel tank would be on. Um, yeah, so I'm going to fuel up, and uh, next time around we'll uh, probably pick up a package here in El Centro, or we'll uh, quickly zip across to San Diego because it's actually just up the highway. And that's where our home base is. Alright, so we're sitting at 12k. I'm going to uh, fuel up. That'll give us a little less. And I will... Uh, oh, I thought we did. My apologies. 282. Oh, that's a gallon though. Okay. I'm used to buying things by the liter. Eh? <laughs> Alright, 250 bucks. Cool. All right. Till next time, guys. Take care of each other, folks. This has been Species Seven for American Truck Simulator. Ciao for now, guys. <laughs>